Let's look at universe. Well, we have an Asian League final between Portugal and the Netherlands. So, uh, as I predicted, it pretty good quite as it went. But yeah, uh, I think I'm happy, but I also know that I don't see this Dutch side, neither the English side beating Portugal uh, in the final. Especially if you saw the game yesterday. The Wednesday's game was lively. There was a lot of forward, back and forth. Uh, yesterday's game was, especially in the first half, very static. With the Netherlands enjoying a little bit more of the possession, England a little bit better organized. I think they were working better as a team. Uh, and then there were the occasional slip ups, and this was kind of. Two things stood out for me in this game. A, uh, how many times a attacker could just grab the ball from a defender, or how many bad passes there actually were. And the other thing is how toothless the Dutch attack was. Uh, I think if the Dutch have a world-class striker on front, this game would have been decided in regulation. Uh, seriously think so. Uh, I think there was right in the at the beginning there was a, a chance where the, I think it was uh, Wijnaldum who marched through the English defense and played a really good pass. It was basically a one uh, two and one played a really good pass on uh, Memphis who I said it yesterday to my wife he has the confidence of Ronaldo but he lacks the ability. I think he wants to be a superstar, but he isn't. Uh, that's that's all I can say about him. Uh, yesterday he was way too hasty. He always shot early. He didn't take his time. He misplaced his shot. He it was not good. Uh, most of the time when he was at the ball, you almost could guarantee that there's no uh, real danger. At least when he is the guy who has made, has to make this final um, shot on goal. And so, as I said, very static, the Dutch controlling, uh, and then it was more or less when the English got a chance or got the penalty, it was more a freak thing where the English kind of pressured the Dutch, uh, pressured the Licht into playing a really bad pass uh, onto, uh, I think it was uh, Rashford, or Rashford took, took the penalty, I think he, he also was, was the one for a foul, uh, where yeah, I mean, the Licht knew it. He, he tries to make a challenge, uh, but it was a clear penalty. Everyone knew it from the get-go and 1-0 uh, England. And then actually England a little bit more dangerous. It was it's this typical game where one uh, team enjoys possession, the other one, if they get a chance, they are a little bit more dangerous. I think this is what I felt for uh, England for most of the time. Uh, first half and first quarter of the second half as well. Um, England had chances, I, I think, especially Raheem Sterling could have made it 2-0 two, two and then in the second half, so it went 1-0 halftime, Kane coming on. And yeah, England also got a scar to be said, before I continue, uh, got to be said that England played without, at least at the beginning, without any uh, uh, player who played in the Champions League final. That changed during the game with Kane coming on, Dele Alli come, coming on and uh, Henderson coming on. So uh, that, that kind of should put the English performance a little bit into perspective. I also think that uh, with an injured Kane, England is not as uh, dangerous. I think the Kane-Sterling partnership on the front, that is something that can uh, strike fear in the heart of many opponents, but uh, wasn't to be. Uh, and then the English really had a huge chance through Jaden Sancho uh, to make it 2-0 with a free header uh, after a corner kick. Uh, I think it was a 55th. There, if it's 2-0 there, England is through to the final. But it was right after that point that the Dutch actually really started uh, to dominate possession and not give the English any ball any, any, anymore. It was the typical Dutch play that I'm actually used to from war, 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 war from the uh, 90s. Um, when the Dutch just controlled possession. But the one thing that was missing for me uh, here is 
that yes, they were controlling possession, but it was toothless. Uh, it was more possession for possession's sake than uh, actually really having intricate attacking patterns and getting a lot of danger out of there. Uh, and again, it's down to uh, Ronaldo, Depay, um, who's the, the guy who played for Fulham with the red hair? Having a well, who, what, whatever. I mean, whoever it was. They are not world-class strikers. I actually think there was more uh, danger from coming from Van Dijk and um, the Licht from dead ball situations. Frankie de Jong was in midfield uh, sensationally uh, pulling the strings at that point, but then when it came to the attacking third, there, there was the punch missing. Um, and yeah, if the Ajax attack would not be Ziyech and Tadic, if, they, if those were Dutch, then I think we would talk, be talking a different game. Um, then uh, Kuman brought on uh, the Beek, Van de Beek, and uh, from then on, yeah, it got even more dom dominant. And I gotta give it to England. I mean, it was dangerous, but uh, they were at this point defending well, and it took a corner where you actually saw the Licht already uh, jumping to run. And then, yep, he is. He makes good on his mistakes and scores uh, the equalizer. Um, shortly thereafter, it should have been 2-1 um, if Van der Beek controls the ball a little bit better. Uh, then England scores the 2-1, and it's taken back because it's just by a hair of sight. Uh, kind of lengthy VAR review on that one. Uh, I understand you want to get offside clear. Again. It's by a millimeter fraction. I don't. I still don't like it. Now it would have gone in my favor. And again, uh, it's more because the, the Dutch are my team. It's not because I. At least this England, I don't dislike. I really have a lot of respect for Gareth Southgate and what he has been able to do. So for that reason, um, I'm saying it would have gone in my favor. But if if that's the goal, what as soon as it's, I would have said, yeah, okay. Uh, England moves on to, to, to the final with Portugal, England, which is surely another very interesting, would have been also an interesting final. Well, so um, having said that, it was uh, Lingard who also came on, uh, scored the goal after a nice pass of Henderson. So uh, both players were substituted in and it seemed like a genius move by Southgate but as I said it was just offside and then it was pretty clear even there was another lengthy war review for a possible penalty but it was pretty quickly clear that it was none because the ball did not hit the hand but the back and so uh, it's 1-1 one, one, it goes to overtime and I think Portugal is the team that enjoys that most. Overtime England I think tried to uh, launch an attack uh, early which uh, didn't go anywhere and then was again the Dutch um, controlling without being uh, too problematic until uh, Stones makes a horrible pass uh, oh no the pa uh, he, 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 he he does a dribble the pass comes later he does a dribble um, that where he loses the ball to Depay Depay goes uh, onto goal has a clear uh, chance, takes the shot that Pickford can save and uh, honestly it should have been our already goal there. Then the ball falls to Quincy Promise who actually would have uh, not made it onto goal. I mean this is how toothless the Dutch attacker it needed to bounce off um, Kyle Walker to make it into goal. It was kind of weird because it showed the ineptitude of the Dutch attack but at the same time uh, you know of taking uh, taking care of the chances that you create but at the same time also a little bit of bad luck for England. So 2-1 for the Netherlands. England tries but never really got any anything going and took another big mistake in the second half of overtime where um, Stones who actually played over a good game but he had the, those two big mistakes plays a bad pass already to Barkley who try who even makes it worse by playing a really bad pass seemingly back to Pickford but he doesn't see where Pickford is plays it right on to Memphis uh, who plays it over to Promise who almost again made a mess out of it but it goes in I so it's 3-1 the Dutch are through so it's the Netherlands 
facing Portugal in Porto on Sunday evening for the First Nations League title. Uh, I think overall the Netherlands deserved it. They were the better team. I was just stunned how bad they are uh, in the attack. And as I said, the game, it got better the longer it went, but overall it was not the good game. Uh, I, I enjoyed yesterday's games a little, the game a little bit better. And yeah, Switzerland will face England for the third place playoff, which is a game I'm not so crazy about. Then of course, European qualifiers today. Uh, I know Austria is playing Slovenia, so that's the one that I will be uh, looking forward to, but there are, my, there are others too. Uh, and of course, the Women's World Cup starts today. Um, yeah, I wanted to make a preview video and I will for sure do a short review video. But uh, at the moment, I have not gotten to it and I, I need to get a little bit into the whole uh, Women's World Cup. I think as long as there are the qualifiers for Europe um, and it's just in the first stage, I might not yet get into it. But I think the, I, I was actually marking my calendars as a tournament that I actually want to follow at least highlight twice. And since I said Ronaldo is off the hook, no, he's not. Uh, I think most people, including me, misread it. It's just that the uh, court, the case is mo moved on the federal level. Well, we'll see what this will bring. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I'm wearing my 19th Netherlands jersey. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.